Hello and welcome to my next Let's Play series. This is Let's Play Train Simulator 2013. And uh, this is a game that I've been playing for about a year and a half now, actually going on two years now. Um, and what had inspired me to play it was um, I had found out about a certain route. I'll get to that in a minute when we actually play the game, but there's a certain route that was going to end up where I was actually uh, moving to. I had left Ohio and moved to California and found out that this route was in there, so I was like, I'll go check this out. I knew about the game existing for a while, but um, I didn't really consider me getting interested in it until I got into it and just saw how in-depth that it went and how versatile it was. But um, So I played it for almost two years now, but what really inspired me to make this series is that there's there's a lot of videos on YouTube of um, people doing a let's play of Train Simulator, but some of them are just like, hey, let's just play it, jump right in and go, and I, I'm going to try to control this train, kind of know what I'm doing, and not really, and oh, look, I'm speeding. Oh, what does that signal mean? I have no idea. I'm just going to run right through it. Like, there isn't really anything out there that really explains what you're doing or how you're doing, in, in at least in some level of, like... Um, knowing what you're doing. There actually probably are a couple of them, um, but the other thing I notice is that not a lot of them are in English. So a lot of them are in German. There's a lot of very passionate German people who love this game, and uh, it might have to do with the fact that the Munich to Augsburg route is very well done, but that'll be further along once we've kind of made a couple videos here. So what my real goal and intent here to do with this Let's Play series isn't just to jump in and just play it and be like, hey, look at this, cool, trains are moving, choo-choo. Uh, I'm going to kind of be a little bit more detailed with it and kind of explain what's going on. Um, when I do any sort of Let's Play, that's kind of the philosophy I'm going to do with it. So... Um, I always try to give a little bit more detail to what's going on, so it's 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 kind of against the whole philosophy of what truly a Let's Play is, but I don't care. I like going into the technical details. So that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to be focusing on, like, um, I mean, I'm not a train... I have no background in rail industry or anything like that. I don't know anyone really close that worked in the air, uh, rail industry. Uh, my background is aircraft and air, air aviation, so... Uh, still, this was fascinating learning experience over the last year and a half from two years just playing this game and learning as much as I do, and I feel like I have a pretty good background. And based on the research I've done on these like rail fan sites and what real information people have come up with, it's actually pretty accurate what they've done here. It seems there's a lot of stuff that seems like they've modeled really well, and it's just kind of cool once you get to learn the system that you know these trains operate on and the signal. It really is its own format its own system so this first video won't be having any gameplay in it uh, if you figure that out by now it's just gonna be talking rambling kind of objective statement here but the uh, this will be kind of like a part zero and then the next one will be part one and we'll start out in the uh, the Barstow to Victorville route <coughs> which is you know where I live so kinda cool to see a video game with your hometown in it buildings that you drive by every day on your commute to work no no kidding that's it's pretty funny so anyway i'll I'll kind of walk through this this is the 2013 version and that i have and what i um will show through is kind of just to set up graphics uh i have a pretty good system running right now um 64 bit i excuse me i5 processor and uh I can't remember my GT, uh, graphics card. I think it's a GTX uh, 580. I can't remember exactly what it is. It's a 580 standard, not a 580 tie, or 560. I think it's a 560. Uh, I may post my specs if people are interested. It runs all right. It just runs it good enough so that you have a good frame rate in the really busy areas. And the most important part is 64-bit. You, you really... I won't go into detail, but you really can't get away with a computer that's not 64-bit in 2013 anymore. You need a 64-bit system to run these software. I also have about 8 gigs of RAM. So here's here's the important part here. I'm going to be driving on expert mode controls. That's where you have you know reverser that has toggle ability. Um, you have full control over every type of train, uh, every type of brake that's on your on your uh, consist. Um, when you're on simple controls, there's really only one brake, and it's combined with their throttle. And then the throttle, um, when you reach acceleration, your train will coast. It won't automatically brake. Um, automatic coupling is off. That means you have to be going a certain speed in order to couple, and you actually have to click the coupler on the menu. 
uh, automatic fireman I have on. I don't know if I'm going to do any Let's Play of Steam yet. Um, I probably will, but I don't plan on it doing it yet. I want to do like a basics and then jump into the uh, the United Kingdom and, and German routes just to show those off and how they operate. And then I might do a Steam, because Steam is kind of, it's different. It's not that much different, but it's different. Uh, exit it past danger signal. Um, that has to do with signaling. I will keep that off because that will automatically end the scenario. And if you happen to accidentally pass a uh, signal that's red, which means stop. Um, so it's just kind of an annoyance thing. It wouldn't happen in real life. Break, same thing with brake on overspeed. Some trains are equipped with a system like that, but we're not going to turn that one on for these, these plays. And I'm not sure what coupling override does, but I just leave it on. So anyway, that's that. Uh, anything else in here? Um, audio, that's fine. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, we will start in the next video on the first scenario, and we will see you next time in, on Let's Play Train Simulator 2013.